Creating water simulations is one of the most tedious tasks and probably one of the hardest in terms of creating something that looks realistic. That's why in today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the best Blender add-ons that actually help you tremendously. From water simulations, to rain, water services, and ready water libraries in addition to other stuff. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We will kick off this list by talking about an add-on that was described as the best water simulation tool for Blender. And I can safely say that Flip Fluids is a complete package. It's light, easy to use, and it has a great interface. And its workflow is very easy to pick up and master. You can just check some of the stuff people created using the add-on, and it should give you an idea of what you can expect from this powerful software. Other than being one of the most popular add-ons ever, Flip Fluids has a ton of stuff going for it. First, while both are based on flip algorithms, I feel like Flip Fluids is much superior to Blender's Manta Flow. It is also able to generate much more believable simulations with the help of white water effects, which allows you to generate millions of foam, bubble, dust, and spray particles, which gives a high degree of realism to large bodies of water. In addition to that, you can easily control the viscosity effect to produce thicker fluids or just some rubbery surfaces. Now, if you like product visualization with small scale splashes, then surface tension and sheeting is the best solution for you. Not only that, Flip Fluids offer different solvers, custom build force fluids, presets, and attribute systems, which allows you to control the materials and colors of your fluids depending on the properties like size, age, and all of that can be assigned to a different color, for example, which can be just powerful. And the cherry on top is, the add-on has been developed and maintained for years now, and the support is top-notch, and the value-to-money ratio is off the chart. Definitely one of the best. Next, we have Aquatic, which is a big water library that contains 2D and 3D water assets that can be used as building blocks to create any water effect you need in your scenes, like fountains, bird baths, and water materials in general. Developed by Polygonic, the developers behind some of the most downloaded and famous Blender add-ons like Botanic Tree Library and Materialic the Material Library, just to name a few. All of these are outstanding add-ons. Aquatic, on the other hand, is all about water, using a good elf technique, which is animated textures. The water shader used with Aquatic is called Waterial. The latter can be purchased separately. On a side note, the animated water is not performance intensive, so if you have a weak PC, or if you don't have the processing power, then this will work just fine. Aquatic comes with 17 fountain assets, both big and small, 6 ready-made water materials for Evian cycles, and a ready-to-showcase beach scene. The add-on also allows you to paint out and mask any part of the water texture that might not work with your specific scene. Another thing that is going for the add-on is that all the animated textures have a seamless animation loop, each 30 frames, and also the textures themselves are seamless, so you can scale them as much as you want. The add-on is compatible with the asset browser as well, so you can use the asset browser to drag and drop stuff in your scene. Alright, it would be hard to top flip fluids, but the realistic water shader add-on called Real Water is an awesome tool to have. Real Water is a collection of very customizable and realistic water shaders. They are meant for cycles mainly, but it can achieve the best visual fidelity. But if you are okay with some compromises, the add-on offers some EV shaders as well. The thing is, it is missing some effects, not to the fault of the add-on itself, but this is just how EV works. The other day, I tried creating a water shader, and after many hours of scratching my head to know exactly how to come up with the best note setup to get a realistic ocean shader, and after all that work, I came with something like this. Imagine if I had this shader, and all you need to do is drag and drop the shader on your scene, and you have an ocean. And boom, you're done. The add-on offers the M panel interface, where you can adjust the properties of the shaders further. It also works perfectly with the Asset Browser, and with this latest update, it added surface shaders with 4 presets, a dedicated pie menu with easy access, and the aforementioned dedicated M panel, an even underwater shader, specifically for the underwater scenes with bubble effects and all, in addition to other features. 
And to check real water, check the link in the description down below. Now, this next one I can safely say is the easiest way to create realistic rain inside Blender. Mega Rain Generator is a small tool that does one thing, and it does it really well, which is added rain to your scenes. And this is how it works. After installing the add-on, you get two buttons. First, you select your floor and anything you want to interact with the rain and hit the first button, which is add rain shader. This will add the rain shader material to your scene. Next, you click the big add rain button and you can't miss it, that's it. After that, you can make it rain. The add-on offers a decent amount of adjustment as well as if you want to further adjust the effects. You can adjust the droplet shape, scale, visibility, and so on. And you can adjust the splashes, add wind, or even targets. This rain generator is built on geometry nodes, and it uses points for the splashes, so the add-on is surprisingly very efficient. However, depending on your system, the assigned area, and the amount of points, the add-on may or may not be viewable in the viewport. Some of the add-on limitations include the fact that it can't interact well with animated objects and a long calculated time for motion blur, especially with big scenes. In addition, there are no splashes in Eevee, but no one cares about Eevee, so it's all good. Jokes aside, this add-on could become an amazing tool with further development, so make sure to check it out and show it some support. Old Tabs Ocean and Water is another shader, material, and asset library for creating realistic and robust oceans and various bodies of water. It allows you to generate and animate various oceans with various scales and sizes with a lot of control over the depth, wave sizes, and so on. The developer Alt-Tab already has a bunch of amazing add-ons under his belt like Easy Fog and Pixel. And this one is a great addition to the collection, plus it is free, so no complaints there. But there is an option to support the developer if you feel generous. A similar add-on for creating animated water surfaces is called Vortex Fluid Enhancements, which offers an interesting way to create high-fidelity animated fluids in Blender. Now, we all know how hard it is to get a good result when running these water simulations. You need to bump up the steps and put in so much geometry, I mean as much as you can, to capture as many small details as possible. What Vortex Fluid Enhancements does is procedurally add animated details to the surface of the water using the Vortex Flow method. Not by adding geometry, but rather just height information, using data from the actual fluid simulation. And it can generate waves and water flow in coordinates with the dynamics of the water. The result is much higher resolution looking fluids with practically no performance hit. And the add-on does not stop there. It offers extremely realistic, physically accurate water shader and the ability to add foam to the surface of the water and it even has a vortex manager which allows you to quickly generate shader presets. Last but not least, we have an add-on called Droplet Generator which, as the name suggests, is an add-on that allows you to generate water droplets on any model or surface you want. This one is also perfect for product shots and product animations. As you might expect, this add-on is built on geometry nodes, and it offers a ton of customizations like things that any artist would appreciate, such as the ability to restrict a droplet to only a part of the mesh, or allowing you to draw droplet paths and animating them through those paths, which looks just fantastic. The add-on is fully procedural, and it offers a very good water shader that you can also customize to your heart's content. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.